age and memory, the passage of time, the aftershocks of war, and stress and mental illness. These are the central themes of Virginia Woolf's novel, Mrs. Dalloway, that still resonate with readers nearly a century after its publication. In Mrs. Dalloway, the past informs the present. Age and memory is a theme that speaks to the ways Peter, Richard, and Sally consider how their youthful time together shaped their current grown-up lives. Memory helps the characters understand why they made certain choices and reminds them how full and complex their lives have been. Yet the novel's fractured, magical prose style shows that memory can be unreliable. For Septimus, whose memories are affected by his profound trauma, the past spirals into the present and creates ghostly visions. London's settings have a kind of memory, too. Peter reflects on the changes the city has undergone in five years and the way it continues to remember its royal, noble past. Virginia Woolf emphasizes that the war dead live on in the memories of the living. Clarissa thinks frequently of death, though she has a deep desire for life. Yet age brings perspective, and by the end of the novel, aging is celebrated rather than feared. The passage of time, as told by the hours on Big Ben, dictates the characters' movements and pushes them to accomplish as much as possible. The city of London is driven by time. Appointments, traffic, work, lunch hours, the unstoppable movement of time provides both stress and the comfort of order and rhythm. Big Ben is a giant monument to moments themselves. In some moments, time speeds up for characters. In others, it seems to slow down. The novel's modernist style allows for leaps in time, though the 12 hours of real time in the novel reiterate the notion that thoughts have the ability to stop narrative time, showcasing Wolf's focus on the interior of life. The aftershocks of war, manifested in shell shock or post-traumatic stress disorder, brought on by the stress of World War I, is most apparent in the life of Septimus and his wife, Ratia. But war's effects are everywhere. Airplanes in the sky recall it, and London's loud traffic echoes the link between technology and violence. England is permanently changed, and this rings out both patriotism and cynicism in the novel's characters. Politically involved Londoners like Lady Bruton and Hugh Whitbread wonder just how England can best repay its veterans. Miss Kilman finds meaning in helping other countries hit harder than England. Peter admires and worries about young military men. Wolf's prose goes deeply into characters' imaginations, so stress and mental illness experienced by Septimus and Clarissa feels authentic and honest to the reader. Both struggle with depression and pain, but can still seek incredible beauty in life. The novel also discusses the effect mental illness has on loved ones, such as lonely Ratia Smith, who cares for her husband. <laughs>